Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is November 16th, 2017, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, let's start out with the GBP at 1230 South African time. We are going to have some retail sales coming out. And then at 430 South African time, weekly unemployment numbers coming in the United States. And we generally don't uh, populate this number on a weekly basis just because it's a little bit redundant week to week. However, um, and considering also that it's secondary to the NFP. However, this week I think it's a little bit important to show it just because we've had such a extreme sell-off in the Dow Jones. Maybe we'll have a positive number this morning that would actually give us a little bit of a boost in the market. So let's see what's been happening in the uh, markets. So first going to take a look here at the Euro USD. Now we're looking at a daily chart. And if you see here, we maxed out at the position right here on the bottom of 1590-ish level, 1600-ish level, 116-ish level. And then we finally look at this. We we really made a quick U-turn. And this is looking like it's going to be turning into a head and shoulders. There's your head. There's the first shoulder, okay, and here would be the anticipated shoulder, the second anticipated shoulder, okay. So just keep an eye on this to see how this uh, unfolds later today. A massive rally in the Euro USD. Look here, let, let's just take a look, four hour chart. We went from 160.90 ish level, okay, breaking this high to 1857.58 ish level which is a tremendous 150 pip move in just one day. This is really like a really great trade. Now, we had a resistance level here at 160.90 and a one-ish level. We broke it. And once we broke it, that was it. That's the end of the story and then we continued going up higher. Now, the question is, can we go back down to 757? That might be a good opportunity to actually buy it. 1757-ish level, 1760-ish level um, on the you know corrective side. Now, we corrected about 60 pips since then okay so you could see that this correction is actually happening so we're still training in a range but our range is a little bit bigger that's all it is okay so you know it solidified the 1560 was a bottom okay that's one two we broke above this resistance line anticipated resistance line 1643 and we continue breaking at 1691 and we just took it up above now 18 118.56 ish level is our upper limit. This is really our upper limit. Now, if we break that, we could go up to 18.80, but right now we're at the top of this range here. I'd be more inclined to short something closer to the 18.90 ish level than I am to short something right here or to buy something right here because we may still correct ourselves down to 17.57. Okay, and if we do, that's a great indication to actually buy anticipated head and shoulders. Now, looking at the GBP, however, did nothing. Okay, we're looking at a four hour chart and it's pretty much flat line. So your go to right now is the Euro USD. That's the one that's trading. That's the one that you should be looking at. Okay, now looking at the gold, gold retracing a little bit from yesterday, tw from 1287, excuse me, down to 1277 right here. So we're just really trading, trading in a tighter range. Now, we, we thought that this would go up much higher considering that the markets, the um, equity marks sold off yesterday, but it did not. Okay, so that's indicative that maybe the um, equities are still going to rally, continue rally, okay, uh, which may still be the case. Okay, so we have to take a look at that as well. Looking at oil here, oil retracing down to $55 on a weekly chart. You could see that and we're right on this resistance level. Okay, uh, previous resistance level, subsequent support. So this would be my support level. Uh, we mentioned this earlier this week. We, we drew this line. So if we do break it down on the downside, we could definitely see ourselves going back to the 53, 52 ish area. But if we do hold, you know, we may find ourselves trading in a new range. And that's something you got to look at and keep an eye on. Now, looking at the Dow Jones. Now, Dow Jones is rallying here in pre market. And take a look at a four hour chart, but we sold off quite sharply over the past couple of weeks. Okay, uh, looking from November 9th to where we are today, it's about a uh, now it's about a 200 point move, but previously it was about a 300 point move. Okay, which was a sharp um, correction, let's call it, for the Dow Jones. However, we do look like we're bouncing off of it. So I drew this line this morning of 23. 
217 as a support level previous resistance. So that's really a good place for, for us to have picked it up. Now, we don't like buying bottoms, but now it isn't indicative that it might continue going up. So let's look at that, and especially since we're going into the Thanksgiving weekend, and between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we generally rally. Okay, now looking at the DAX, it's a little bit more disconcerting. Okay, trading at 12,922, we're just at the support level. Okay, previous resistance. Uh, now we have to really hold this line for this to show us that it's really strong. Okay, because otherwise we may see really a correctional move, um, and we may see a head and shoulders here on the regular way. When we, when we mentioned before we were looking at the Euro USD, it's inverted head and shoulders. This might be a corrective head and shoulders. So this is something you got to keep an eye out, uh, and it does look weaker, and it does look like it's breaking down the Dow Jones. So this is very very important. Now looking at the JSC, JSC rallied this morning a little bit. As you can see, we're bouncing here at 53.713. Uh, so that's a really cool move. Let's see if we can continue breaking out here to the 53.992. That would be my my, my next go-to. This is Fred Razak. Want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.